Check it out, guys. Does it look like to you that I'm organized? Doesn't look like it to me. But in today's episode, you're going to see the transformation of this workspace right before your eyes. So come along, spend some time with me today, and you'll see how I'm going to transform this workspace and maybe give you a couple of ideas on what you could do in your workspace. Now, to the untrained eye, it might look like it's somewhat organized, but I can tell you it's not. Junk all over there. I got stuff in boxes, just stuff holding things, you know. I need to find a spot to put all this stuff. Look, I got some mouse traps up there. It kind of looks organized, but it's not organized at all. Not happy. Can't find nothing. Gotta get organized. Got all my tools underneath there, but then I use one and I leave it open and then I use another one and I leave it open and I don't pack them all nice and neat in there. Like, and I just took my delivery of my wall control that I bought off Amazon. I'm not selling this, I don't have links, I'm not an affiliate, nothing like that. I just wanted to get organized and I thought this looked like a really good product. It looks like this, guys. See that? And it's steel. Get all this junk off the wall, put it all in a box, take all this down, put up some nice strappings, then start putting these boards on and you guys will see the transformation right before your eyes. big problems I found with this pegboard. This is a really, really old pegboard. It was in this workshop when we bought the farm and it's so soft now. You can see it's just been splitting. You can see here this, the weight of this thing. It's just, it's gonna break it eventually. Oh, it's not even flat. It's like, it's like wavy. That's why it's time for an upgrade. once over these panels yeah it's like inside the box it comes with these screws some pretty heavy duty screws right there I measured they're 32 inches by 16 inches and what that does for you is it makes it easier when you're installing it in studs in case they're 16 inch on center studs and you just saw what I did I put one slat there one in the middle and one on the bottom and that's really because there's a hole at the top, hole in the middle, and a hole in the bottom. And that's just gonna make it easier for me to stick it on the wall. You can put this on drywall. You can put this on right into the studs. I don't have the studs set up in this antique workshop. This shop's like 100 years old, guys. They don't have proper studs. So I put some slats across there to make it easier for my install. It's always a good idea to mark the holes with a pencil and then drill a little pilot hole. That way your wood won't split. I thought it would be a good idea not 
to super over tighten the screws until I get the level perfect because you know I want them to be level and I want them to be right butted up close to each other so I'm just putting them in lightly and then once I get it set perfect then I'll tighten up all the screws. Oh yeah, shiny. One of the big reasons why I wanted to go with this kind of a system that has both a combination of the peg holes and slats, it's because of this. You see that edge? So this hooks in there and it can't come out. Even if you put stuff on it and you're trying to take things off, you know how the old peg boards, every time you take something off, the bloody peg comes off. That little groove right there basically slips underneath. And then you put it up and then lock. This particular accessory is a shelf. So it just locks in place with the little, these little holes right here. It just locks in place like this. And then on that side. And now you got yourself a cool little shelf. This one on this side. Lock it in place like that. Got yourself a little shelf. And see what these little grooves for are right here. Check it out, guys. Boom. Yeah. You like that, eh? There's so many accessories with this system, too. And of course, being me, I bought the ultimate package. I got some red stuff, you know, like this is like just a regular hook. I got three different size baskets. I got a bunch of these little storage bins that mount on the pegs yeah i got a whole slew of these red things i don't even know what that is i guess that's for a handle like a like a hammer so the hammer can sit on it got some hooks like this i guess for you to put like an extension cord or something like that yeah hey let's get putting some of this stuff on This is pretty cool. I found this at Home Depot. It has nothing to do with this wall control set, but it's just like a little strap with a Velcro and it holds this thick, thick extension cord together and it comes in handy. What do you think of this folks? I think it looks pretty organized. I'm actually pretty happy with this system. It went together really easy. I like how all of the fitting of the hooks, it's like they can't pop out. They're just, they lock in place in those little slots. And it also takes all my old pegboard hooks. So it's not like it completely replaces all of the accessories. I still used a lot of my old accessories to make this beautiful, organized, tool wall in my workshop. I know this workshop's a hundred years old and all, but this sure does make it look a lot younger. I like the way it looks from all angles. I like the combination of the galvanized look on the back 
with the black and the red hooks. It really makes it pop. I mean, it's always good to have some nice aesthetics in your workshop, eh guys? I put a nice shelf up top so that it's not a bunch of wasted space. It's got this handy little paper towel dispenser here. That's, that's always handy in a workshop. It's got a couple of shelves. It's got a bunch of baskets. It's got a bunch of hooks. I really like this system. And I fixed up all my tool cases underneath so they're all nice and neat now. Nice and organized. Now I got this off Amazon. You can just search wall control if you're interested in it. Again, I'm not an affiliate or nothing. I haven't even started that. And I basically bought a kit that had four panels and then I bought an extra two panels so that I have a full eight foot wall. This holds a lot. And I wanted to replace my old pegboard, which was eight feet. And this is an upgrade. This is gonna last my lifetime for sure. Anyways guys, thanks for watching my, my little video here. It's always a good time in the winter to get in the shop and tidy it up and get it all organized, getting ready for the next season. And that's still a ways away. That next season's probably gonna be starting April and then we're gonna get right into getting some things done here on the farm. So I really do appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to pound that like. And again, thanks for watching. You guys take care, okay?